Hi, welcome back. So let's talk a little bit about choosing fun over fear. Imagine you're playing tennis with a two-year-old. Let's say you're not that bad, but you're quite good. You're at a medium level of competency. And you're playing tennis with a two-year-old who, of course, couldn't even hold the racket straight for too long. How fun would that game be? How thrilled will you be if you win? Versus, let's say if you're playing tennis with someone a little bit above your competency. They're not, they're not much, much bigger than you. They're not like Roger Federer or something. But they're a little bit above your competency. How fun would it be to play that game? And how fun and thrilled will you be when you win it? Okay, so obviously many of you would prefer playing a game, hopefully, with someone a little bit higher in the level of competency because it's more of a challenge and when you win over that challenge, it's, it's a, a big thrill. So coming back to business and networking, you know, for some of you, it is a challenge to go out there and network. It is perhaps out of your comfort zone and that's why you're taking this course. So how do we view challenge? Do we view it with fear? Or do we view it as fun? Now, many of us have chosen fear. Many of us actually do not do much of networking, perhaps, because we are afraid of what bad things will happen to us. We are afraid of facing up to the challenge. But yet, in our other sides of life, let's say playing tennis, we do agree that a, level, a certain level of challenge is fun. Actually, Winning a game of tennis against someone a little higher in competence is perhaps more fun than winning a game of tennis against a two-year-old. So going back to the concept of challenge, how do we choose to see it from now on? Now, I, I choose to see business as a game, strategies as a game. And a game is always more fun when there's a bit of challenge. And instead of looking at challenge with fear, I propose that we start having fun with it. So how can you make networking a game, a fun game, worth playing? I mean, it's not worth playing with a two-year-old. I'm sorry, but it's just not thrilling. It's, it's boring. You, we know who's going to win in the end. But is your business game fun to play? Is it a game worth playing? Is it a game worth watching? Is it a game worth remembering? And I can't think of anything else that makes it worth remembering and worth winning and worth trying if there isn't any challenge. So the idea of this is embracing challenge and using it as a tool for growth. I'll give you another example. I'm not a very good cook, but I can boil water. <laughs> so I'll give you a, an example about cooking. Imagine you have a pot of water, and underneath, of course, there's fire. What happens to the water? After a while, you see little bubbles. After a while, the bubbles get bigger. After a while, the bubbles come up to the surface and the water starts boiling. And after the water starts boiling really, really heavily, it starts evaporating and transforming into steam. So the challenge, the fire, actually transforms the water. What happens if you refuse a challenge? What happens when you say, well, you know what? I don't want my life to be that hard. Let's just turn down the fire. Turn down, or maybe even just turn it down really, really small. What will happen to you? And let's say you are the water. You'll just stay the way you are. Will you transform? No. You know, water can't fly, but steam can. And the question is, what are you going to do to transform to become a better person? When you are a better person, business becomes easier, right? When you are a better person, you can achieve more. But you first have to become a better person. So I invite you to look at challenges, not as something to be afraid of, but as a tool for transformation to go to your next level, to, to turn from water into steam, something that can fly higher, that is already transformed. So, ending that video, I want you to think about how can I see challenge as fun? What do I need to do to embrace challenge in my work or in my life so that I can have more fun with it and enjoy the game and to make sure that my game is worth playing and worth winning? I'll see you in the next video.